Hello everyone and welcome to The Forge. My name is Victor and on today's video I'm going to be paying homage to Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night by making my very own Pokemon version. I made all of the Pokemon models using my FlashForge dual extruder printer and a Patchbox black ABS filament. I've been using this 3D printer for about two years now and it to this day is mesmerizing to watch it work. And while the models are on the 3D printer, I'm going to prepare my box by sanding the outside smooth. The inside will get a coat of flat black primer. And on the outside, I am going to use this nice dark cherry wood stain. Once all the models had finished printing, it was then time to try and remove them from the printing supports as carefully as possible, but inevitably I ended up breaking a few pieces and so I used some gap filling spackling to add in and be able to have a fully formed model that I could then sand and make smooth. My next step was to size, print, and cut out the Starry Night so I could start mocking up and getting an idea of how my terrain was going to fit. Wow. I had originally wanted this model to light up, but as you can see, there was just too much of that light stream. So I did use glow-in-the-dark paint instead on several of the models, including, as you see here, on the accents of my shiny Umbreon. While searching for painting references, I had the idea to use Pokemon Go's AR picture function as my references. In between playing around and trying to find different positions for my models, you can see I was able to add various coats of paint until I was finally able to get a look on each of the Pokemon that I was somewhat happy with. Sometimes painting at this small of a scale, my hand gets a little too heavy, 
Luckily with acrylic it's pretty easy to go back and fix any mistakes. In between the many coats of paint on the models, I was able to also start work on the terrain. I used styrofoam as my base. Once I got the basic shape carved in, I used Mod Podge and a little black paint to give the styrofoam some strength and stop it from flaking. The next step, I was able to add some texture using sand and rocks for the pathway and the mountain. After I had my mountain and pathway looking acceptable for the moment, I started work on the cypress tree on the left using some spackle to give it a little bit more texture that I then painted with a brown paint. This next step is actually my favorite part of the whole build. I got to use my brand new toy, a static grass applicator. The static grass applicator uses a static electric charge to make this specially designed grass stand upright. Using a paintbrush, I would paint Mod Podge anywhere I wanted the grass to stick. And as you can see, adding the green to this model really starts to bring it to life. Now that I had finished the terrain, I could match it to its position with the painting already in the box. With the terrain mostly figured out, the only thing left to do is to find the right position for all of my Pokemon.
And with that, my models are all painted and glued into their final position. The only thing left to do is to stand back and take a look at what I've done. Okay everyone, this is my homage to Van Gogh's Starry Night with Pokemon. I hope you liked it, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on The Victory Forge.